hello YouTube this is cruise man out on the 2018 Goldwing it's about 545 actually about 540 at night it's a little cool out but not too bad we got a little break in the weather we got some rain this morning and I thought I need to do a little shakedown ride uh, try out these new Rivco fog lights that I just installed today and I thought at the same time why not do a motor vlog it's been a long time it's been at least three weeks since I've done a motor vlog we were out of town for about 13 days uh, down in the Caribbean on uh, assignment for our other website cruisereport.com but we're going to be home for a while I've got a lot of catching up to do I have been super, super busy working on these new maintenance videos for the 2018 Plus Goldwing. And I'm telling you, I think those of you that have already pre-ordered, I think you're going to be pleased with the result. Uh, I'm putting a lot of detail into these videos. For those of you that like working on your own bike, uh, even if you have the Honda service manual, uh, I think you're going to get a lot of benefit from these videos because the service manual, which is a good tool by the way, but it only tells you what to do. It doesn't really show you in detail how to do certain things. So I'm going to, and I am, taking the time to kind of go into a lot of detail to show you how to do some of these specific maintenance tasks for the 2018 Goldwing. So I hope you enjoy them. Many of you have already pre-ordered the videos uh, from my website and I appreciate that. I'm also doing a little uh, shakedown ride on my uh, brakes because I just did a brake video where I flushed and bled the brakes and I always like to do a neighborhood ride just to make sure the brakes are working good they feel really good right now now my bike is pretty new it only has 7500 miles on it so it really didn't need to have the brakes flushed and new fluid put in but you know I had to do the video to show how to do it so <laughs> I got new brake fluid at 7500 miles same with the brake pads uh, my brake pads really look almost brand new, especially the ones in the rear. So I just cleaned them up, put them back in, but at least once you see how to do it, even whether you you know put new pads in or not, at least you know how to do it now. Or you'll be able to see how to do it. Actually, uh, the brakes on the 2018 Goldwing are one of the things, one of the few things, it's actually easier to work on uh, than it was on my 2012, on the previous model. There's a lot less stuff you have to take off, and um, it's just, overall, it's just easier to work on. It's very unusual for me to be out riding after dark. I just don't, I don't typically ride in the evenings after dark. Now, I ride in the morning when it's dark, when I go to get coffee in the morning, but um, <clears throat> I rarely get out this time of night. But you got to try out the fog lights, so you got to ride when it's dark. I do not have the fog lights on yet. I'm waiting for it to get a little bit darker before I try those out. So anyway, we have uh, new videos coming up on the YouTube channel. Not only this motor vlog, but we'll have uh, the Rivco fog light installation video and review. And I also have a set of the Honda fog lights that I'll be installing next so you can watch for that and then sometime in January we'll have hopefully we'll have a review and installation of the SoCal Moto Gear fog lights so I'll have a chance to kind of experience all three and see you know which ones I like best uh, which ones I recommend, don't recommend, but um, 
these Rivcos were actually pretty easy to install. I was surprised. So make sure you check out the video. I should have it up. I'd say within a few days, it'll be up there on the YouTube channel. I want to thank all of you. Uh, we hit 13,000 subscribers on YouTube. And that's a really, really uh, big deal for me. I was really uh, excited about that. It happened while I was out of the country. But I shot a little, uh, little blog video from the cruise ship just to thank everybody. But, uh, and you know, it's a good time, I guess, to mention that if you like these motovlogs, if you like my videos, if you like this channel, please take a second to subscribe down below. Hit that little subscribe button. And if you hit that little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when I come out with new videos, which is kind of cool. I've been using the community tab more on the YouTube channel. I'm posting updates on stuff that's going on. It's kind of like a, oh, I guess you might call it a, a blog. But the community channels where I can post pictures or just post information, stuff that's going on. And uh, some of you have been commenting on those and participating in that. So, you know, send me some comments. Let me know what you think of that community tab or if you even use your community tab on YouTube. So lots of stuff going on, guys. Um, I'm waiting on a couple of windshields from F4 Customs. I was hoping they'd be in today. Now these are for the 2001 to 2017 Goldwing. And my understanding is they're gonna send me a plus two and a plus four to install and review on, I think it's gonna be a 2016 Goldwing trike. I'm not sure about that. I have a dealer lined up or I have somebody lined up that has a 2016 trike and I've never ridden a trike so that'll be kind of an experience so I'll make sure to do a motor vlog from the trike if that ends up happening so just out for a nice evening ride I haven't really been for I haven't been for a ride in almost a week because I've had the bike torn apart doing videos and uh, so it's nice to get out. It rained this morning. It was really cold the last few days, so it wasn't good days to ride anyway. So anytime the weather's like it is right now, it's uh, 57 degrees out, no wind. It's really pretty pleasant. I like this kind of weather. I even like it when it's 48, 49 degrees. As long as it's not windy. I don't like the wind, and I don't like the wet and rain and all that junk. But um, I do like the cooler weather. I think it's very comfortable. I've even got my face shield up. I'm just enjoying myself. Of course, I'm behind this big, massive F4 Customs plus four windscreen, so very little wind gets to me anyway. Um, also, just before we left town, I went ahead and signed up for Sirius XM. I'd been waiting for the right deal to come along, and they finally hooked me. They had a deal where you could get 12 months for 60 bucks. And I figured that's about what it's worth to me. So I went ahead and signed up for that. And when it comes up for renewal, I guess I'll have a decision to make. I know um, I've been able to negotiate with them before. So, you know, it's only worth about 79, 80 bucks a year to me. It's, I don't listen to it that much. Usually the only time I listen to it is if I'm on a road trip. It is kind of nice to have uh, some of the serious XM radio stations. And you get really good quality music on this 2018 uh, with Sirius XM, much better quality than you do with FM. This FM antenna in the 2018 Goldwing is really, really junk. I mean, and the AM antenna too. You don't, I mean, AM and FM reception on this bike is nothing like it was on the 2012. It's one of the areas that uh, Honda really kind of let down. And I have a friend out in uh, North Carolina and he and I've been talking about it and he's tried out some other antenna options and he hasn't had any success yet. So we're looking for a solution to the poor reception 
radio reception on the 2018 Goldwing. So we'll see if we're able to come up with a solution. And uh, love your comments. If you have any questions about the videos, if you have any questions about any of my YouTube videos, please don't hesitate to send me an email or post them on YouTube. Anyway, that's it for now. Until next time on Cruise Man's Garage.